Oh my god, this is so wrong. Oh sh What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Brian here. Hope you guys are doing okay. Today is another good day because we are reacting to episode number two of Only Friends. Episode one was a mess. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for your time. Before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and start. Wait, where's my um? There. These two. What is it gonna be? Oh, we're continuing. Okay. What? None of them are excited to hear this. Because they know he's playing. <gasps> yeah, you're the only one that seemed very happy. Yes. Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this feels like like a con like a confession on room, like the real world, you know. Hold on, I miss what they said because I can talk too much. Hey. <laughs> 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 he looks so annoyed. He's too cool for that. Uh, I don't know, dude. I feel like Mew is... He's got... He's, he's playing the game, too. My favorite man. Oh. I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. Hello. 
He's always drinking. Are you jealous? So he does like him. He just got friend zone. So messy. What the heck? He looks so innocent. That was quick. This looks so fun. I 
ขาเป็นคนปฏิเสธเนาะจิบเอาใหม่ได้ปะได้ดิไม่ง่ายนะพอยต์เลง It's a mind game He's smart Nice job First and foremost That part, I don't know. Top seems like he's got a lot that he's not telling us. He's so jealous. Oh. Lonely and bored, and he's just getting in people's businesses. <laughs> like we don't even know what he was selling or what he was doing. Maybe it wasn't drugs. Who knows? Or was it? I don't know. Roxy. 
and he's following him. What is this place? What is this place? I mean, I know what this is, but what is he doing here? Performing? Yes. Yes. Girl, he is not interested in you. Oh shit. <laughs> Is he gonna see him? <laughs> That's none of your business. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Like he just looks so bored. Oh shit. Oh, that's uh, that alcohol, the wine. Well, you just assume. Right. That is mean. He's so condescending. They're standing really close to each other. <laughs> Okay. How sad. He's got all the money, but nobody wants to hang out with him. That's quite a proposal. Ten. Fifteen. <laughs> going once, going twice. Oh. 
Get the money up front. No romance without finance. Aye. Okay, let's get to the let's get to this part. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> they just have a lot of energy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Neo, stop it. I'm blushing. Don't judge me. <laughs> God, they're both so cute. He is in love. This just feels weird, like, I would never let anyone take a photo of me. Especially if we don't know each other after we just did it, you know? It's like, it, I feel like I'm being exploited. Don't fall for him. Red flags everywhere. No. Is this their house? Go ahead. 
he is enjoying this. Where are your parents? Oh, sorry. Oh, he looks so lonely. It's hard to retell a traumatic event or experience. It almost feels like we're living the moment again. Right. It's sad that he has to pay someone to spend time with him and to be his drinking buddy. It's so sad. Damn, he's got a really nice body. Hey girls. Oh, that's right. He likes him and he likes the other. Oh my gosh. What a mess. So they're just on the sidelines seeing this in pain. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. This looks so much fun. Ever since I saw Bright and Wynn do this, I think, a couple years ago. I want to do this. It looks hard though, I think.
ครับไป help her Not all your friends. <laughs> oh God, what are you up to? Oh, their first meeting, huh? What? What is this? No, what are you doing? <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm not ready. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Do not go to the bathroom. Oh I can't. This I'm so scared. Okay, let's go. This is terrifying. Oh my god. See what happens. Oh 
This is so stressful. See, this is getting messy, dude. That's gotta hurt also. You are messy, sir. But it's kind of sad too, you know, he's trying to impose himself and he's no longer welcome and he's still trying to push. He's really trying. He's trying his best. Watch that knee. <laughs> that is hot. He is in love with him. 
ก็เอาไปตั้งหลายรอบแล้วอะใช่ปะจริงเหรอกูไม่ได้นับเลย Of course you don't, because you don't care. He wants more than that. He's so manipulative. No. No. I just want to shake him and, you know, I see myself and my younger self in him. Like, it's never like that. In the perfect world, yes it is, but in reality, you're just that. How rude! Oh, okay. Leave me out of it. Hell yeah! He's just lonely. He's happy. It worked.
Yes, he well he was. Maybe. Careful now. He's so pretty. That couch looks pretty comfy though. I've seen that blanket before. Hey, same shirt. Similar. What is that? What is that? What is he taking? He's so cute. Say something else. Mm -hmm. uh, fire. Oh, that's dramatic. How 
house is beautiful. Getting that. This guy is so problematic. Oh God, what is he up to? Ouch. You don't have to go hard on him like that. <laughs> mm. Huh? No! Get the money! <laughs> Just kidding. No, that's a nanny. ไม่มีสเปคอยู่แล้วอ่ะหน้าตาคนเราไม่มีหลายแบบอ่ะกูส่งแค่ว่าถ้ากูคุยกับคุณใจกูว่าไปเอ้าสวัสดีครับพี่
Oh my god! Huh? that look <sighs> I don't know the foundation of their agreement just sounds very rocky what? Oh my gosh. Huh? Oh my gosh. Uh, it's it's getting messier. As expected. As expected. Okay, episode two of Only Friends. Um Boston. That's all I have to say. We'll get to him in a minute. But I'm glad that San and Ray seem to be getting along. For now, anyway. Now they're actually hooking up. Obviously with no romantic feelings involved just yet. I have a feeling that that's gonna change as the series progresses. But for now, they're getting along. They seem to be in agreement that they're gonna be essentially friends with benefits. I guess we'll start with that. So we'll see how long they are able to sustain this type of relationship before they start developing feelings for each other. And I feel really sad for Ray because the fact that he feels that he has to pay someone to spend time with him and do basic stuff with him like listen to music or just drink with him the fact that he has to pay someone to be there for him and share that experience is sad because we know he has friends but i don't think they know him at that level or i don't think he has allowed them to get to know him at that level i'm curious to know as to what might have happened to him what type of experiences he may have had that influence this type of isolated behavior i don't know if that has something to do with him excessively drinking as well but even though we did see a little bit of a background for him he shared a really traumatic experience when he was a kid that he's witnessed his mom dead on the floor i assume as to what caused her death they didn't really go into it too much obviously it's something that's very difficult for him to talk about so i don't know if that's something that they will revisit in future episodes but whatever happened to him in the past possibly might have affected and influenced how he is now as an adult and I also want to know where his dad is. But I'm happy that Ray is not fully alone now that, you know, Sand is in the picture. And we also got a little bit of a background for Top. And he's also shared a traumatic experience as a kid, which obviously continues to affect him as an adult. You know, he's having difficulty sleeping alone because of what happened to him when he was a kid. Now, whether or not that's true, it remains to be seen. I mean, don't get me wrong. I want to believe him. I don't ever want to discount when someone is telling me something traumatic. Obviously, my first instinct is to listen whether or not what they're telling me is the truth that's their story whether they want to tell me the truth or not that's up to them with that being said i want to believe him however i am reluctant to believe him because of what i have seen of him so far and how he was initially introduced to us first episode they portrayed his character as someone who was very confident very attractive always get what he wanted but in this episode they showed more of his vulnerable side and showing vulnerability allows me to connect with people better so whether or not again he's telling the truth is on him if he's lying about all of this just so that he could get new then that's some next level shit he's clearly way worse than what i was expecting but hopefully he's telling the truth and then Mew seems to be watching Top's every move he's checking all the boxes making sure that Top is meeting his criteria and so far he seems 
seems to be liking what he's seeing. But I know that he's also reluctant. Although we did have a close call in the shower scene, but that wasn't Top's fault. It was mostly Boston. Boston is just, oh God, Boston is bad news for everyone. He's so toxic. I mean, he already knows that Top is courting you. Even though they have a history together, Top's made it clear to him that whatever happened between the two of them was in the past, once was enough, but Boston seems to want more and he still continues to seduce Top even though he knows that Top has Mew now, but Boston continues to just push the buttons, push the boundaries and it's gonna blow up in his face one day, but so far right now, he seems to find excitement in trying to seduce Top. And then next week, it looks like he's gonna stir some shit up again and he's gonna make an even bigger mess next week, so we'll see how that goes. And poor Nick. Nick looks like he's fallen for Boston and it's just sad because we know that Boston isn't necessarily the boyfriend material. He's so destructive and Nick is just too good for him. And it's very evident that Nick likes Boston and he obviously wants more than them being fuck buddies. But unfortunately, Boston is not there. That's not what he's looking for. That's not what he wants. Boston is the type that just wants to hit it and quit it. But anyway, next week should be an interesting episode. They're all gonna be in the same place and bad things are bound to happen and I'm just bracing myself. Anyway, what did you think of this episode? Let me know in the comment section down below. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Until then, I'll see you later. Thank you.